вместо этого. Тушенки. Поди, поделитесь Я поделюсь между с собой. Хорошо. Да, чтобы мы всем не развозили, просто отдайте там, Я кому вам надо. Там Нет, это все вам. Это все вам. Поделитесь. Вы что-то на улице знаете, кто, да, да. кто и что не Хорошо, спасибо большое. Сейчас я бабу Валю позову, чтобы это сделать. Возьмете. Подождите, хлопчик, и подождите, мои родные. Ой, Господи. Ой, дай Бог по здоровью. Хай вас Боженька береже. Мои да, все нормально. Мои да, все хорошо. да, все хорошо, успокойтесь. Все нормально. Да, все хорошо. А как вас звати? Люба. Люба. А скажите, будь ласка, а військовые тут где-то находятся? Нет, нигде не бачила. Нигде не бачила. Там, где вы каждый день стреляли. Вот там были. А вы с військовой живут? Жили? Не, 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 не. А у вас Никого. продукты, вода есть? Ни воды, ни хлеба, ни это, газу, ничего. Ну мы сейчас вам дамо воды и дамо э, такой, чтобы пить можно. И дамо вам что-то поесть. Пишите, не газовано. Давайте еще. Что это у вас такое в коробке? А, вижу, тримайте. Ну, 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 вижу, на здоровье. Russian President Vladimir Putin has not received a word of support for the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region from any of the countries the Kremlin considers friendly, with the exception of Bashar al-Assad regime in Syria, which Russia helped to keep in power. Even the unrecognized president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, is trying to maneuver, limiting himself to statements that he is for peace, writes the Moscow Times. The Belarusian leader noted that he would not use nuclear weapons until the border of the Union state was crossed. However, the border has already been crossed since the Russian Federation, including the Kursk region, is part of this union. Belarus has not directly taken part in the conflict between Moscow and Kiev, having called for negotiations instead. However, at the start of Moscow's military campaign in February 2022, it allowed the Russian military to use its territory to launch an offensive on Kiev. Relations between Belarus and Ukraine have been strained ever since. Other countries that are part of the pro-Russian military alliance, CSTO, have not commented at all on the events taking place. In the Kursk region, Armenia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan have not made any statements on this matter. China, with which Kremlin officials constantly talk about a strategic partnership, responded to the military actions near Kursk only on August the 12th, that is, a week after the start of the Ukrainian offensive, and limited itself to a statement about monitoring the current situation. In response to a media request to comment on the situation in the Kursk region, the Chinese foreign ministry called on all parties to adhere to the principles of cooling the situation. Recall the CSTO secretariat stated that the Russian Federation did not make a request for assistance in connection with the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region. They noted that they intend to monitor the development of the situation. Russian ultra patriots are panicking over the successful offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region. They suspect that the Ukrainians are preparing a new unpleasant surprise for Russia. This opinion was expressed in particular by the security officer Igor Strelkov Girkin, who is in prison in the Russian Federation. His letter was published by his wife. In his letter, Strelkov wrote that he was closely monitoring the advancement of Ukrainian forces in the Kursk region. I consider the strike by the Ukrainians in the Kursk region to be a distraction. We should expect a second, the main one, in which they will use their remaining reserves and aviation, the security officer wrote. He is sure that the main offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces will be towards occupied Crimea. Kremlin propagandist Alexander Kotz made a similar statement on August the 16th. 
There is a feeling that the Ukrainians will strike somewhere else. We have not yet seen the main forces of the enemy, wrote the Z War correspondent. He noted that in their offensive in the Kursk region, the Ukrainian armed forces are practically not using heavy equipment, in particular Leopard tanks as well as American F-16 fighters. They are being saved for something else, Kotz wrote. He also believes that the main strike of the Ukrainian armed forces is planned specifically towards Crimea. He announced massive strikes by the Ukrainian armed forces on the Crimean bridge and isthmus on the administrative border with the peninsula. We should expect an attempt to cut our group in the Kherson region and Zaporozhye and take control of the land corridor, the propagandist wrote. Recall Russian President Vladimir Putin called the Kursk incursion Ukraine's attempt to halt Russia's offensive in Donbass, claiming that the Kremlin's push has only increased instead and that its troops were still advancing across the front line. The enemy seeks to improve its negotiating position in the future. Putin said at a meeting with top defense officials dismissing any prospects of peace talks. Experts said more time is needed for the effects of Ukraine's incursion into Russia and the strikes on Crimea to be felt on the battlefield. But the recent incursion and attacks on Crimea highlight how Kyiv, outnumbered and outgunned by Moscow's larger army, is keen to break the enemy's ability to stretch Ukrainian forces by attacking from three sides, north, east and south.